We have three massive games to kick off this episode today, guys. RB Leipzig away from home, followed by Bayern Munich at home, and then we're going to Cologne. So three games in the month of November, then already we're going into December, January. The, the window will open. We get a chance to make some changes to the squad if we want to. Look at my manager rating, by the way, in the top left corner. I'm not actually sure how I've been able to do that, considering it's been such an inconsistent start to the season. But we have improved a lot since going back to a usual four at the back formation. I've, I've much, much, much more preferred it, if that's even the right way to say it. I've preferred playing with four at the back. It, it's definitely been an improvement. And we've gone from... Well, I think we were down in 13th at some point where Schalke are right now. And we are up into 7th place, just 3 points off the top 6 with a game to play. So things are looking good. But of course, we're playing RB Leipzig and Bayern. So it could be two losses in a row. Looking at the RB Leipzig team, it's very strong. Werner and Silva up front. It's a deadly duo in a 4 triple 2 with Campbell, Olmo, Olmo, Olmo. Um, Olmo, <laughs> sounded so weird, Olmo, brilliant player. Their defence as well, so strong with Raum as the left back. They've got Gvardiol, Simakan, Henriks and Sommer in goal. It's a very good team, but thankfully we go into this game with a fully fit first team for us as well. Of course, Nemecha hopefully is going to continue his good form with Plata over on that right side as well. Yeah, I think we're ready to go here. Playing in the rain, no surprise. It genuinely feels like we play in the rain every single match. But anyway, here we go, guys. Haven't played against a 4 triple 2 in a little while. I don't know how that's going to go for them. They're going to be quite narrow, I'm guessing. Campbell and Olmo are not wingers. So I doubt they're going to go very wide. Although, straight away, Campbell's picking up the ball very wide. That's weird, isn't it? Well done, Nets. We've got it back straight away. Space here for Baku and Plata to get through, maybe. Oh, that's a good interception. How's he done that? It's, it's glued to his foot. That's my throw, right? It is. Let's get this one done quickly. Here's Svanberg over to the captain, Arnold. Try and go on his right side here. Over to Plata. Try and take on the defender. And again, I've just... I've ran into trouble. And this is where I'm going to get hurt, I think. They're going to be really good on the break. LaCroix's done well, though. I really don't get this 4 triple 2 It's basically a 4 4 2 isn't it? Oh, God, that could have easily gone in. They are effectively playing with two wingers. So, um, yeah, they're definitely not playing as narrow as I was expecting. Hydara gives it to Olmo. Short on the edge of the box here. Oh, I cannot get the ball out. Win the header. Oh, come on. Not like this. What a save. Castiles again. Yeah, the struggle is real. I cannot get the ball and keep it for a couple of passes. Just getting dominated here. But to be fair, it's RB Leipzig. They are one of the stronger teams. Campbell back to Haidara here. Just cannot... I can't get anywhere near them. There we go, LaCroix. Almost loses it again. Look at this. They're just hounding me as soon as I get possession. Okay, can we do something now? Here's Vimmer. Over the top for Nemecha. It's not going to work, is it? Oh, mistake from Simikan. Onto the left side. Oh, I've just been closed down there. Here we go. Try and build it up again. Vimma over the top. Nice. That's going to work. Into the box now. Go on, Platter. Oh, win the header. Oh, my God. I should have scored. I really should have scored there. We are now into the second half. And to be fair, the fact that it's still nil-nil is a good thing. I've had one really good chance, as you saw with Nemecha, but obviously RB Leipzig have had the lion's share of opportunities. So I have a feeling it might continue into this second half, but I'm going to try my absolute best to sneak a win here if I can. But it won't happen if I give away the ball like that. Oh, Vim has done so well there. Over to Nemecha. Oh, he's got it. Surely. Yes! Oh, we have absolutely snuck a goal out of nowhere. And it is Bricallo, this guy, sipping tea. Maybe he's on his way to England. Is that what you're saying? Is he going to be sold in January, guys? We will be putting it to a vote when we get there. But that is a really, really nicely timed goal. As we're going into the second half, as they're probably about to start dominating again. Nope. 1-0 down. Unlucky RB Leipzig. Let's see what happens here. Whoa, what's going on? 
Jeez, what is up with all that space? I think we've just got away with one there. I think Baku fell asleep. Look at Vimmer on the left side. Oh, it's not a good ball. It's not a good ball at all. I'm going to still chase this. Oh, my God. That was genuinely so close. Imagine if I get away with that and make it 2-0. Baku getting forward. Doesn't get to go forward as much as a right back compared to when we played five at the back. Or three at the back, I should say. Uh, nothing's come from it, but it's okay. We'll go again. Here is Arnold. Nemecha. Hello. Oh, my. I'm still going through. No. How? Once again, down this right side, this time with Plata. Got the overlap from Baku. Or is it Nemecha? It is. What's he doing here? Pulling it back to Svanberg. I think that's taken a touch. It should be a corner, right? No. Okay. Well, we're going to make some changes now. I think it might be time for Cherky. And I'm going to play him at Cam, actually. And I'm going to bring in Gilavogi. And let's go with Vind up top. Nemecha not had the best game ever. And let's go Otavio as well. We will save one substitution in case there's an injury or whatever. We've still got 13 minutes left. These are very late subs. This is where things are going to get a little bit squeaky bum time. Here's Olmo. It's not a very good shot. I'm going to throw this out to Vimmer. It's a great touch. He is so good. I really like Vimmer. And we've got a chance here to potentially get a second goal and really kill this game off. Here is Cherky. He's being closed down. Go on, Vimmer. Oh, that's a foul, surely. Thank you very much. We're just running down the time here. We're going to be in the top six after this. Hopefully, anyway. I'm going to pass this to Gilavogi. Oh, here we go. Vimmer. Shot coming in. <laughs> I mean, no, that's that's just not going to go in. But I've wasted some precious time. Look at this. The referee's going to blow his whistle. We've beaten RB Leipzig. I am so, so surprised because we were getting battered in that first half. But now, of course, it's time for Bayern. We've got some training to get out of the way. I'm pretty sure I'm at a point now where we can just completely simulate training without even checking. I, I think I've done every single drill. Let's just do a couple more here just to make sure. And then obviously you can make it so your game doesn't stop for training. You just sim really quickly. Yeah, I think we're good. Oh, I got a C and beat the goalie. That's not a very good one, but whatever. So how do you turn it off again? Uh, let's just check this really quick. What is it? Cruz really disappointed. Mate, I'm trying to sell you. <laughs> um, I'm doing what's best for you and that is leaving you out so I was looking at some other right backs as you know I'm not too keen on Fisher so I've got a couple of players that I've been scouting let's go ahead and check those out now in fact let's just get towards the game I've now turned it off so it doesn't stop for training and then I will show you who we've got in the transfer hub back up to Baku basically so we've got Wagnerman still Gusto, I think could be a really good choice. I was looking at this guy here, Aiden, and I don't think he's really at the level I was hoping for. So I don't think it's going to work out for Aiden. So I'm going to go ahead and remove him. We've got Wrench. I think he could be a fantastic player for us. Really good. And then we've got Alexander Barr. <laughs> I don't know how to say his name. I'm I'm presuming it's just Barr. Bah. I don't know, he's, he's Danish. I'll have to try and find out. But he is, I mean, unreal. 31 million though, it's a lot of money. But look at his stats. He is not only pretty tall at six foot, he is so quick. He's relatively strong as well, but great stamina. And as you know, Baku is always playing every game. He's up and down that right side. It's important that those people in those positions have good stamina. So definitely a good option for us. So is Wrench. He's he's just not quite as good, is he? But obviously he would be a lot cheaper. We're looking at around 15 to 18 million euros. Gusto, 16.3 million euros. But also a very good option. So yeah, we've, we've got some good choices that we can make. Obviously, at some point, I am looking to bring in a centre midfielder. I think that I want that to be Kone. I think he could be brilliant for us. Uh, and of course, the other option is still Wagnerman. But I'm not so sure about Wagnerman. I think I can do better. You know, all of these players are younger, except from Barr and higher rated. So, yeah, Wagnerman, 
not this time. But we will come back to this in January. Of course, we do not have the money. I spent literally everything. I had barely any money left. So, yeah, we can't do anything about it now. Let's do the press conference here before the game against Bayern. We've got every chance to get back on track here. What does that... What does the narrow... I can't speak. What does that narrow win mean for your team? Uh, it was a difficult game. Yeah, it was It was a, a lucky result. I didn't really deserve to win that last game. How can you find consistency? It's about confidence. It's the same questions, the same answers every time. I'm just doing it for that morale. Uh, we've got a player chat as well. What's this? Bracallo. I mean, you've earned your place. He is one of the best players we've got. So, of course, he's going to start. So we're at home. I think we're just going to go unchanged. They've got Mane up front with Muller in behind. Carrasco on the left side with Coman on the right. Um, yeah, it's, it's a good side. I'm not sure about Pavard as a left back, though. <laughs> That's a bit of a weird one. Bayern have arrived. Kimmich, three goals in his last three games as well. Interesting. I don't I don't really see Kimmich as much of a goal scorer. He's just an elite playmaker. He's like, you know, the, the engine of the team. He gets the, the clock ticking. Oh, there's Neuer as well in goal. He's still so good. And Muller, of course, true Bayern legend. This is not going to be a fun game, is it? I think I'm going to really struggle here, but I'm going to give it my absolute best. And who knows? Maybe we can sneak a result like we did against RB Leipzig. It's definitely possible. I was just thinking to myself, it's quite nice they don't have Lewandowski. But then you remember they've got Mane instead, who is just as... Oh, God, I've given it away. Just as difficult to play against. So um, I don't know who I'd rather play against. Here is Mane. Look, the, the break's already on. Oh, no. How have I not given away a penalty there? Um, watch this slide tackle. I have completely destroyed Coman, I think that is. But play on, that's fine by me. They didn't score the chance. Oh no. Oh God, don't touch it like that. That's scary, just let the keeper grab it, man. All right, let's get down the right side, or not. Or not, really heavy touch. Here come Bayern again. Look at the way they pass it around, it's just elite, isn't it? They are so, so good. Just trying to close them out as much as I can. Yes. Nice. We've got it. Muller again with the shot. Castiles has to make the save. How long into the game are we? 18 minutes. I feel like I haven't even been in there half yet. It's not a nice feeling. Oh, no. Oh, it's off the line. Nets has saved us. He stopped it from going in the back of the nets. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I can't even get it out of my own box. Oh, Kimmich almost got his fourth there. <laughs> oh, we've got an injury. Great. Vimmer has picked up a knock. Hopefully nothing serious and he'll be able to run it off. Okay, it's good news. Vimmer has ran off the injury. Very good news. I was worried there. Thing is, if a player still runs around and feels normal, it's just going to drop off, isn't it? It's not like they're limping. Here is Baku. Cross coming in. No way. I mean, outside of the boot cross, how is that more accurate than whipping in with his right foot? I don't know, but it was a beautiful cross. I'm so sad Nemecha couldn't get that on target. Just trying to kill a bit of time here before we go in at the break. But do you know what? I'm starting to get a bit of confidence here. I'm passing it around nicely until that moment. What are you doing, Baku? What was that? I have no idea. But nil-nil, guys, honestly, we are playing the best team in the league and they don't look that great. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this so far. Well, I say they don't look that great. What I mean is they haven't scored. They do look pretty good when they do get forward and pass it around. And yeah, I'm getting tackles in, though. LaCroix mainly is dealing with Muller and Mane. I think Van der Ven is, he's pretty far off being, you know, a top level centre back at the moment. He can do the job, but uh, yeah, LaCroix bails him out a lot. Oh my God. Speaking of which, what have I just done? This is, no. no. Oh my God. I rushed Castiles out and luckily it's worked. Here is Nemecha now. I think we just run down this left side up against Lucas Hernandez. Can we get some support into the box maybe? Or we go back post for Plata. Oh, it's so close, so near. 
Oh, come on. No. And just like that, the attack is gone. No. No. Oh. <sighs> Castiles is a joke. He actually is. He is so good. I don't know what I'd do without him. Oh, and I've lost it again. I'm gonna ma I'm I'm gonna make a change here because I'm I'm starting to get a bit worried. I feel like something's coming. I think I'm gonna go Gilavogi and then bring him in as a DM. You know my good old trick of just moving the cam to DM. I'm also gonna bring in Cherky for Platter, who's having a very quiet game to be fair. Um, let's bring in Gerhart as well for Arnold. Let's see if this makes any any difference because having three sitting deeper should mean we can win the ball back a bit more consistently and then play it forward to Nemecha or Vimmer or Cherky now on the right side. We'll see how it goes. Oh, come off it, man. How is Mane just so quick? Everything he does is like a million miles an hour. That's 1-0, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Nets out of position. Coman just runs through. I don't want to watch that again. It's it's bad, guys. It's really bad. I've defended pretty well, and then I've just let that happen. Please, don't let the floodgates open now. <laughs> it's going to end up being 3-4-0, isn't it? Something like that. Not on my watch, okay? I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and fight back here. I mean, Vimmer's just being taken out, but it wasn't a foul, really. His nets. We need a good delivery from him. Oh, my God. Oh my god, we got a good delivery. Straight to Nemecha, who's had to get Neuer flying into the top corner to save it. Okay, corner coming in. 20 minutes left on the clock. Gilavogi's there. Saved again by Neuer. I, I need a bit of luck. I need that to go in, please. Cherky with the delivery. To Gilavogi again. Oh, not enough power on that header. I think it might have taken a slight touch. Look at Cherky down the right side. Nice. We've picked him out. Come on. Get into the box. Oh, beautiful. Oh, <laughs> it is absolutely beautiful. All right. Cherky, five-star skiller. You know I'm not much of a skiller, but we pulled off a McGeady spin of dreams there up against Pavard, who's very wrong-footed, playing at left back. And then we've just hammered it in far post. What a moment for Cherky. What a signing. He only had one year left on his contract. We picked him up pretty cheap and he is coming good. I think him and Platter are going to be fighting for that right side. Oh my God, we've won the ball back. Please. Imagine the scenes. Oh, Delict just had to be there, didn't he? Stuck his foot out. Do you know what though? A draw would be some result. A win and then a draw in these two games. I would have never expected that. I just need to stop them from scoring here. Oh, no. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. How long we got? Is it going to be one minute added on again? Yeah, it's always one minute. Every time. I think that's going to be it. Unless... No, that is going to be it now. Jeez, what a game. I'm stressed. I'm stressed. Again, outplayed most of the game, but we've somehow come away with a pretty positive result. So, um... Yeah, I'm feeling pretty confident at the moment with this team. I think Cherky's got to start, hasn't he? He should start the next game. I'm wondering, can I get him and Platter in the team? Maybe Cherky plays at Cam. I just feel like he's he's definitely better out wide. Well, we're up against Cologne. It's a good time to potentially swap a few players out, including Cherky. So maybe, maybe we give him a go at Cam. Surely he can do that role relatively well. Doesn't matter what I change him to there. I'll give it a go. I, I reckon he can do a job for us there. So Platter on the right, Cherky in the middle, Vimmer on the left. I'm going to go with Vind for this one. And I'm also going to start Gilavogi. I'm going to rest Arnold. And for this one as well, let's throw in Tior. And let's go with Otavio as well. It can't be just me that whenever I see Cologne or I see the badge or whatever, I just think of Podolski. Is it just me that does that? I really miss Podolski. He was one of my favourite players of all time. When he joined Arsenal, I could not believe my luck. One of my favourite players joining my team. Similar to Aubameyang, really. But yeah, that didn't end so well, did it? <laughs> We're not talking about that. Anyway, we've got another game to win here. Another three points here would be fantastic. Imagine finishing this episode with two wins and a draw. I think I'm expected to win this one, but the other two, definitely not. 
over here to Vimmer. We've got the overlap from Otavio. I'm going to pick him out nicely. Look at that. Into the box now. What a ball. No. I'm not quite sure how Vind hasn't made better contact with that. This is great play, though. Cherky. Oh, he's done it again. Cherky has done it again. He's a French genius. What a player he's going to be for us. And I'm still gutted I didn't score the original cross. But you know what? It doesn't matter. We've made it back into the box. And it's 1-0. No, 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 no. I... I saw it coming and I couldn't stop it. Just really slow to switch players. And then when I did switch players, it was too late. He'd already started moving past the player. It's one all. And they've done what Bayern couldn't. Score against us. This first half is going so quickly. We're already into the 40th minute. Nice one, Gilavogi. Over here to Tior. Nice. On the right side to Plata. He's not going to get that, is he? Why did I do that? It was such an unnecessary pass. And now I'm going to be in trouble. Here is Hector. Come on, get a tackle in and win the ball and then get forwards. No, this ain't good. This ain't good at all. Oh, no. If he goes down after he shot there, it's a corner. Uh, not a corner. It's a penalty. I, I've literally slid. You can see the marks I've left on the pitch. I slid in from behind. Oh, great. And now we're 2-1 down right on the stroke of half time. That sucks. That really sucks. It's a delightful cross, though. What can you say other than, wow. Should be winning the header there, Teal. Should be winning the header. And there's half time. Oh, man. Look at this run from Cherky, though. He means business. Oh, on his right foot. Oh, the five-star weak foot really coming in clutch there. Great run, great shot. Deserved a goal. We get the corner, though. Svanberg to deliver it. We're not going to be able to win it, though. Here's Cherky again on his left foot. No way. Oh, my God. He's unreal. Unreal. He is so good. It's frightening. He actually makes me wonder... If I signed him and not Platter as well, I could have had another 30 million to spend. <laughs> He's that good. Look at that. What a ridiculous goal. Oh, wow. What is this? What? What was that? <laughs> this game ain't broken. No. What a goal, though. Unreal. Oh, Vimmer. Oh, we're in. Finish it. No way. That is shocking. Nemecha scores that. And in fact, I'm bringing him on. It is time for Nemecha because I can't be missing chances like that. Simply cannot. I'm also going to throw in other Nemecha on the left side. And I'm also going to bring in Bricalo for Plata and do that. Switch them. Okay. We've got some decent time left here. It's not over yet. We can still get a winner. Cherky saying, calm down, calm down. Delivery coming in. Oh, that's good. I thought it was good. It wasn't. Cherky on the right wing now. Inside to Bracalo. Back to Cherky. In for Nemecha. What a ball. No. I didn't... I didn't hold the left trigger. I, I didn't want him doing that. He's just gone for it on his own. Just get a header on it. Oh, it's embarrassing. Genuinely embarrassing. Although, if that goes in, of course... Crazy scenes, but it's just so unlikely. Just head it, man. We're running out of time now. Not long left in the game. Here is Bracallo. Definitely prefer him centrally compared to playing on a wing like we had at the start. Oh, here's Cherky. I mean, how can you go from scoring wonder goals to that? <laughs> it's, it's such a rubbish strike. He, he's put it over from... Probably the easiest chance of the game. I, I, I don't get it. I really don't understand that sometimes. But hey, it's football. It happens. Now we're about to concede and lose the game. Or are we? We've only got a couple of moments left. Okay, we're going to get a throw here. Let's just quickly get this down if we can. Nice. Win the header. Yes. No. Okay. Oh! 
We've been gifted another opportunity here. No, ref! Stop adding one minute and stop blowing it so quickly! I had a chance there to potentially go ahead and win it. Ah, Well, three games unbeaten. It's, it's not the end of the world. So, where does that put us in the table? Let's have a look. So, down to eighth now. That's disappointing, but considering the games we played, I don't think it's too bad. Dortmund are really starting to pull away now, which, to be fair, I don't mind that. If anyone's going to win the league, I'd rather it was Dortmund. RB Leipzig, you know, I'm still unsure about them as a club, if I'm honest. Um, Bayern Munich, obviously, always win it. Leverkusen, level on points with them. Then it's Gladbach, Bochum, and then Frankfurt just above us. So, um, yeah, do you know what? It really, really isn't too bad considering who we played in this episode. Hopefully, December will be a little bit better. But that is the end of November and the end of this episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed, please do leave a like rating. Make sure you're subscribed if you haven't already. And please turn on that notification bell as well. And I will see you tomorrow for another episode.